Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Yes, we are back live here on the podcast and Zoomcast once again with our friend uh, David Allison, and we're excited to have him here. He's a coach, world-renowned coach. Uh, he hails from Scotland. That's where he's living, but he's working with people all over the world. And go to his website, David G. Allison, A-L-I-S-O-N.com to find out more um, because he's a real team leader with his coaching. Um, he can help you in so many ways. Just Google his name. You can find him, but I can't even tell you the amount of accolades he has and the things he do, does. So let, let's have David introduce himself. And by the way, I'm excited to have you here with a clear connection today. Uh, thank you for your patience with some of our technical difficulties. Thank you. And it is a pleasure to be here. I think this is Happy New Year. Even yes, though it's happy through January. It is Happy New Year. We haven't spoken. It is Happy New Year. Correct. Yeah. I think we last spoke before Christmas. So yeah, great to be here. And what I wanted to, to share with your listeners and viewers today was New Year resolutions, and why it is that 90% of people give up on New Year resolutions. And I also wanted to talk a little bit about a few days ago, it was Blue Monday. Yeah. And Blue Monday, statistically, is the day where it's probably the most depressing day in the calendar year, mm. which feels to me a bit of a media hype. But maybe we, we can explore that as we go through our conversation today. Absolutely. Well, where do you want to start? New Year's? Yeah, well, let's let's talk about the New Year's resolutions. New Year's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what happens? New Year's, everyone has these New Year's resolutions. Yeah. And not everybody believes in them. Tell me your thoughts and take on New Year's resolutions. So the thing about New Year's resolutions is, like I said a couple of minutes ago, 90% of people don't stick to them. Mm -hmm. So... The question is, is what is it as humans that makes us not stick to a New Year resolutions? Okay. And my simple answer to that is, you don't have a big enough why. Mm -hmm. What do I mean by a big enough why? Yeah. And I, and I answer that in four questions. Number one is, and this will this will get you to your why. So. And unless before we dive into the four questions, most people give up by we, some people give up on Blue Monday mm -hmm. because oh it's Blue Monday I should feel bad today because social media tells me it's the most depressing day of the year so people will automatically catch on to what they see in social media. Mm -hmm. If you know from our previous conversations, I talk about habits. Yeah. When you pick up when you pick up your cell phone first thing in the morning before you get out of bed. And you start watching your Instagram or TikTok or whatever it is, or you read your emails, your day's gone. Yep. You're absorbed in everybody else's life. Yeah. And so when it comes to Blue Monday, you might have done your workout for two weeks in a row. It gets to Blue Monday. Oh, it's Blue Monday today. Yeah. Oh, what does Blue Monday mean? And as soon as you start feeding your mind with Blue Monday's the most depressing day of the year, oh, yeah. you lose your momentum to do something. Mm -hmm. Other people don't stick to their resolutions because they don't have enough commitment. True. Yeah. So what? So I'm gonna I'm gonna give four questions for your viewers and listeners that will help you find out a way to to keep your New Year resolutions. And I don't I don't really believe in New Year resolutions. Resolutions. I would say set yourself an intention yeah. for the year. So. Number one, so let's just say you want to make a million dollars in your business this year mm -hmm. or you want to lose a hundred pounds. Let's go with a hundred pounds, right? So number one, what makes losing a hundred pounds so important to you? Mm. What makes whatever it is you want to achieve so important? Yeah. My second question. What will it really cost you if you don't achieve this resolution or this intention? What will it really cost you mentally, emotionally, physically? Mm -hmm. And maybe even spiritually, if you're a spiritual person. Because what will you, what, and this is what I, what I do with my, my clients. It's like, if you don't have 
something powerful enough mm -hmm. as leverage, you won't do it. And I, I, I see your Instagram, Jill. I look at your beautiful children, right? My kids. I don't like my kids. Yeah, yeah, it so, used to be all about me. It's both, but I... <laughs> and I... And I'll just use you as an example. So if I was your coach and you say, David, I really want to do this, and okay. Okay, Jill, what makes this so important to you? Can I be honest? Do you know what I think now? I'm going to tell you something. When I grew up, um, I grew. I was born in 78, right? So my parents had like um, photos, right? I, we don't, I mean, in my house, we don't have any printed photos. It's, we had Polaroids, right? And then it became, you print out photos. And so we have all these photos and it's nice to look back at our memories and it's great. But I think our generation now uh, doesn't have that. So to me, the importance of, I mean, I take a picture of my kids in my cell phone, which gets lost in the cloud. And I hope they see them one day. But at the same time, I know I'm making little video collages of our trips and of our things. And I feel like that's what they are going to remember. I'm going to always have to show them the little video montages of like, hey, remember that time we went to Hershey Park? Hey, remember that time we did this? Like, I just, I make the montages. I mean, I, I love people to see my family, but the truth is no one really cares about me and my family. The, my social media is really for me. And I go back and last mm -hmm. night my son was scrolling through and he wanted to see the video when he was dancing like a penguin last year. And he went through my Instagram and he was like, oh my gosh. So it's kind of like their memory board, you know, and it's important to me. And I don't mind that people don't care. I also like that some people care, but it's, it's really for them. And for me, and I'm, I take the time and effort to make these little montages because that's like our looking back on photo memories. Like we did when we were a kid. It's just different. It's different. We have social media. It, yeah. Sorry. I just went on a tangent, but yeah, no, that's, okay. it's important to me because it's, yeah, yeah. I like, I like yeah. living, living back through the time and the moment. So, it feels so good. So in, in, in creating those memories, you're, you're looking to leave a legacy, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So I, so if I may, I'm just going to say, Anything. what would a real legacy be for you? Like you're doing what you're doing. You're on TV, you're doing this show and people are listening to you. They're inspired by you. They follow your life. That's a real legacy. Oh, I did this because Jill gave this message one day or I became a better mom because I looked at Jill and I just saw the way she was with the kids. Yeah, yeah. Thought, that, My God, I want to be like that woman. That's so, yeah, that, that, that is so sweet and kind. And I do get some of those comments saying, wow, you're such a fun mom. I wish I had a fun mom like you. And so it makes me feel good. Yeah. But it's not even how I feel. It's about what I'm doing because I want to do it and I, I'm enjoying mm -hmm. my life with them and trying to experience them, taking them skiing this weekend, um, close by to us. We're in New York and New Jersey's like the next state over. So two hour trip, they don't ski, they never ski, but just want them to experience life. So I'm just about you Beautiful. living life to the fullest. Each and every day. Will it be crying, screaming, it's cold, want to go in? Probably. Will it be miserable? Yes. Will I make it fun? Yes. <laughs> Just got to go so, through. Yeah. So for your viewers and your listeners, if there's something in their mind now, number, question number one, what is what makes this so important for you? Number two, what will it really cost you if you don't do this? Mm -hmm. And for some people losing weight or getting a new job or or starting that business means so much to them yeah and what it will cost them for a lot of people is mental health problems emotional health sometimes and i've worked with clients and they say i need to lose 30 pounds because mm -hmm. if i don't lose this 30 pounds yeah. my husband won't make love to me anymore mm -hmm. my husband's calling me chubby so how important is it for you to lose weight? It's not really important because your husband's calling you chubby. The real reason that it's so important for you to lose that weight is because as when you look in that mirror in, in the day, and when you wake up in the morning, you go into the bathroom and you look in the mirror, you don't want to be saying, oh, I'm that chubby woman. And I'm not worthy of my husband's love. Mm -hmm. You want to be looking in that mirror and go, hey, you're yeah. one sexy woman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's not about what your husband wants, mm -hmm. because what you're doing there is you're giving the power away to your husband. Mm -hmm. If I lose, you could lose there. This this lady could lose thirty pounds. Her husband could still walk away. Yeah. But if she if she lose that thirty pounds and look to the mirror and it's like, wow, I discovered me again. Mm -hmm. So. 
for you for your listeners and your and your viewers, it's like what's the what are the what are the real reasons? And if you're giving the real reason for you wanting to achieve something to somebody else, you're giving power away. Yeah. Kind of do it for yourself. Yeah. Let's come to question three. And this is a question that always gives people a lot of food for thought. Who will you be in achieving this outcome? So let's go back to our lady. She loses a 30 pounds. I would ask her a question. Who are you now? Who are you now? And they could go, well, and I'll just use you again as an example. Oh, well, I'm Jill. Jill's just the name that your parents gave you. Who you are, who you, are you as a woman when you look in the mirror and you're 30 pounds lighter? You're probably going to say, hey, David, I'm love. It's like in, in achieving this outcome, who have you become? What are your core values? Who are you as a man or a woman? So when you look in that mirror, you can go, I am. Jill's just the name my parents gave me. David is just the name my parents gave me. Mm -hmm. Every day I look in the mirror, I go, I'm grounded, I'm centered, and I'm love. That's what that's. If somebody says, who are you? I said, do you want to know my name or do you want to know who I am? Mm -hmm. And then the fourth one. And the great thing about resolutions or intentions or goals or outcomes, whatever label you want to give them is they're wonderful when they're in your head. But you will never achieve them unless you take action. Okay. And most people are, they give up after two weeks. Oh, doing this workout takes too long. Mm -hmm. uh, writing this book takes too long. I haven't got the patience. You create a story, and that just brings you back to the first one. It's not important enough for you. Mm -hmm. You have to be, there has to be leverage for you to move forward. And that leverage is either what, what, what you shared earlier. It's, like, it's that pleasure of giving your children experiences that they'll remember their whole life. That's yeah. pleasure. Yeah. Well, the alternative to that is you're in pain. <laughs> your children end up complaining and crying all the time because you they don't have they don't have what their friends have. Oh mommy, you're such a bad mommy, you don't take us anywhere. Little Johnny next door always goes this. Yeah. And if you think about the woman that wants to lose weight. She could be in pain because her husband's walked away before she'll do anything. Yeah. Because it's either pleasure or it's pain. That's the leverage for you to move. And I encourage, I encourage the people listening to this or watching it. It's like, find what it is that will make you move. What is it that makes it important? What's it going to cost you if you don't do it? Yeah. Who will you become in achieving it? And then finally, what are you prepared to do to make this happen? Yeah. Wow. It's like there has to be non-negotiables for you. Mm -hmm. What are the things you prepare to do to make this a must? Yeah. When you answer those four questions, you have got your why. And there's a great book by a guy called Simon Sinek. It's called The Power of Why. And, and a lot of people will go through life without a real why. I know I did in my corporate career before I became a coach. I just wanted the next big job with the next big paycheck, thinking that that was going to bring me happiness or fulfillment. Yeah. But I didn't really have a why. My why was driven by fear. But when you're, and if you think about it, a lot of people will do things in life because if they don't have it, then if I don't have this job, then... I can't pay for the bills. I can't give my family a good time. So if I can't do that, then my wife might leave me. If if my wife leaves me, then I will well, I won't feel worthy of love. If I don't feel worthy of love, then oh my god, I might end up sleeping on the street. If I'm sleeping on the street, what's the point of being here? So you your life is driven by fear. So let's turn that around. What if your life was driven by love? Because as human beings, we all want love. We all want 
we all want to have our need for love and connection met. So what if your driver for everything you did in life was love? Love for yourself, love for your family, mm -hmm. and love for the people that mean the most to you. And love for your fellow man. Yeah. That's a game changer. So your, your primary driver in life is, is the love you have for yourself. So you get up and you look in the mirror in the morning, you go, I am love. I am grounded. I'm centered. Yeah. I'm going to have a wonderful day today. Every, and everything I do, I'm going to do it from a place of love, mm -hmm. not from a place of fear. I would encourage your viewers and your listeners, test that out for a week. See how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> do everything from a place of love and not from a place of fear. Mm -hmm. And if you guys could join in the chat back now, there'd be so much discussion going on. Absolutely. <laughs> because, pe because people automatically think they're doing things. If you drill it right down, what are you really doing the things in your life for? True. Are you doing it to avoid pain? Mm -hmm. Are you doing it because you are you have fear that if you don't do this, then this will happen and this will happen and this mm -hmm. will happen? Or are you doing it because there's a blue sky? Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll rest it there. Plenty for people to think about. Good. And remind us then how we can reach out to you at this point as well, if you don't mind. Thank you. So you can reach me on Facebook, David Allison. I'm the guy with the Scottish mountain behind me. Uh, DavidGAllison.com. Uh, Instagram, David Allison Coaching. You can also find me. I have another website, which is called ClaymoreMentalHealthSupport.com. I have another business where... Myself and my partner, we support men and their families uh, with their mental and emotional health. So you can find me anywhere there. Perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, what Did you have a, a course last night? Do you have one tonight? What, what's happening in well, your yeah, world? I have a webinar tonight. A webinar. Um, that's what I call it. I'm like a course. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I also have an online course. I'm just going to drop the details in the sure. chat. I'm in a community called uh, the Infinity Wellness Group. Okay. And it's a, a community of spiritual coaches and leaders from all around the world. And right. I'm there with around 10 other leaders. And I've got a program in there called Destination You. It's an online program where you can do the course at your own pace. And once a week, I will be there on a live call to support you. And you can join that program for 12 months. Awesome. I'm trying to open the link and now it shut my camera off. Hold on. <laughs> I might've hit the wrong button. Yeah. I don't know why. Um, clicking the video. There we go. There you are. You're back. Yeah, I can't open your link. It won't let me. Uh, infinity wellness yeah. groups. There we go. There we go. I guess I have a sticky keyboard. Now I can't see you. So infinity wellness groups.com slash destination. You join international coach, David Allison, as he guides you on a personal journey in the destination, you transformational program. Uh, wow. You got a video up there. You got all your stuff. Um, and, uh, yeah, this is pretty amazing. And uh, you're going to get a five-step coaching uh, and support program, right? All your modules. Yep. Uh, it's going to, you know, help you discover the authentic power of you, create a powerful mindset to win the day every day, identify and overcome the beliefs uh, that hold you back from the results you're hungry for. He's going to help you manage and master your emotions, learn how you can live in a strong emotional state as default and create and plan your exciting vision of the future. This is awesome. 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 I can't play the video now, but excited to look at it later. <laughs> yeah. So, and this is the same program that I, I developed it 18 months ago and I use it with all my clients. Mm -hmm. So in, in doing this program, you're going to get the same as if you were one of my one-on-one -on -one clients and, and my one-on-one -on -one clients pay me a lot of money to work with me. You're going to get that for a fraction of the cost and you can do that program at your own pace and you you can be in a live call with me every week for a year. So you even if you don't do the program, you're going to get one hour's coaching 48 weeks out of the next 52 mm -hmm. for a fraction of the price it would be to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. Wow. 
Awesome. Awesome. This is great news. What else do you have in store for us? My goodness. We have 10 minutes uh, left in the show here. Uh, just checking the we time. Have 10 minutes left. So let's, we talked about Blue Monday earlier. Yes. What is Blue Monday specifically? Could you share? So what is Blue Monday? Blue Monday is statistically the most depressing Sad. day of the year. Yeah. And And my question for your viewers and listeners is, Every day can be the most depressing day of the year. Mm -hmm. Because the day the day will be whatever you make it when you decide how to be when you wake up. Mm -hmm. And if you remember a few a few calls ago, we talked about the three C's of life. Yeah. Choice, chance, and change. Mm -hmm. And every day you make a choice. You make choices all of the time. You wake up in the morning and you say, okay, what am I going to put on today? What are the clothes I'm going to wear? What am I going to have for breakfast? Sure. You're also choosing the emotion that you live in every day. Mm -hmm. Like you get out of bed and depending on whether you pick up this little monster, mm -hmm. this cell phone monster, if you pick up the cell phone monster before you start your day, I guarantee you, before you start your day, you won't be feeling so great because you will be looking at other people's lives. You'll be reading emails and your boss might be complaining about something or you have a client. And it's about, it's about what do you choose to do first thing in the morning? Do you choose to take some time for yourself before you start your day? I have clients and they're just like you, Jill. They've got young families. You go, well, I have no time for myself. Mm -hmm. As soon as I wake up, I got to go and get the kids out of bed. And I just say, well, if you got up 15 minutes earlier, you could have 15 minutes just to yourself. Mm -hmm. What would you do with that 15 minutes that could set you up for the day? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you could put your favorite music on and dance around the bedroom. Then you're going to immediately be in a good mood. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you want to meditate. Yeah. Or maybe you want to journal. But the beautiful thing is, it's, it's like this glass of water. I have a full glass of water here. If this glass of water was empty, I wouldn't get any energy from it. Mm -hmm. And if, if this glass of water is full at the start of the day and I drink it, then I'm putting that into my body to give me energy to start the day. Yeah. So... Use that as a metaphor. So find something that you can do, it, and it can be as quick as 10 or 15 minutes. I'm I'm lucky I live in my own, so I can take as much time as I want. I normally take an hour in the morning to set myself up for the day. No. I choose to do that. When my when my feet hit the floor in the bedroom, okay, I can say, and the first thing I say to myself is, hello, hello. So today I said, hello, Wednesday. <laughs> We're going to have a good day today. Yeah. And immediately I've decided I'm going to have a good day. Mm -hmm. When I go into the bathroom and look at the mirror, I think, oh, you need to have a shave today. <laughs> I feel good. I'm grounded. I come into my office. I look in the corner and it says, I'm grounded. I'm strength. I'm love. I remind myself, hey, I'm not, I'm not David. You're not Jill. You are Love, you are grounded. I am grounded. I'm strength. Mm -hmm. Decide who you are. Choose to be. The question I always ask my clients is, who do you want to be today? Who do you... So if you want to achieve an outcome today, let's say you want to get three new sales in your business, or you want to run a mile today, it's like, who do you need to be to run that mile? Yeah. Who do you need to be, Jill, to be the, the most outstanding presenter in the whole of the United States today? Mm -hmm. How do you need to show up? Who do you need to be? Mm -hmm. Think about those questions. It's about because we get so trapped up in doing. We have to do this and we have to do this. In our, and we have a to-do list that's many, many items long. I guarantee you the items on your to-do list, 20% of them, should only be in your list. The other 80% won't get you an outcome. So if there's something 
if you go through every day and you don't have a clear outcome for your day or you have a goal or an intention, you will just drift through the day. You'll get to the end of the day and say, oh, I'm so tired. I've been so busy. And we can be busy being busy. We can be busy doing the things that don't actually move the needle towards what we want. Yeah. So, and I'm noticing the time. So in the morning, decide who am I going to be today? What what emotions am I going to live in today? And what are the habits that I'm going to start to do every day that will move me towards having the results I want every day, the outcome I want every day, and the life I want ultimately? Yeah. Well, I'm excited because I want a better life. I got New Year's resolutions. I'm not good at them, but starting to move, starting to get out, starting to exercise a little bit, right? Uh, walking baby steps, but uh, it makes me feel good. And like, I know most of them are going to fail and I'm trying my best. <laughs> I started a week late, but still it's okay. Um, you know, I just want to feel better. And I hope our listeners out there want to be better and live better lives. We're here on this earth, my goodness, for not a long period of time. Uh, some of us longer than others, we don't know. So why not live your mm. best life? And you are the perfect cheerleader, can I say, to walk by our side, okay. hold our hand and do it with, because yeah, clearly. And again, a lot of your testimonials and the people that you've worked with, amazing. Um, you know, they can't say better things about you and your work. And that's why you're so successful. <laughs> thank you. You are welcome. And it's a pleasure to be here. Well, thank you, David. And to close out today's session, how do you want to leave off with our listeners? How do I want to leave off? My question is, who do you want to be? Who are you? Mm -hmm. what what does your what does your dream life look like and let's not even call it a dream life because you can have anything you want in life but firstly you have to believe and before you believe in I want this life believe in yourself and if you don't believe in yourself then come and talk to me and we'll yeah. find a way for you to do that. Okay. Sounds good. How do we call you? How do we contact you? Yeah. So davidgallison.com, David Allison coaching on Instagram. And if you want better mental and emotional health, come and find me on claymorementalhealthsupport.com. Got it. Thank you so much. And again, the webinar, um, infinitywellnessgroups.com slash Destination You. <laughs> yeah, so my Destination You program, you can find it on on the link. And if you go to my, so my social media pages, I did a post last night. I did a live video. There's a link there to book for my webinar, which is coming up at 3 p.m. Eastern, uh, midday Pacific, and 8 p.m. if you're here in the U.K. Perfect. Thank you so much. And that's today. All right. Sounds good. You have a fantastic day. And again, looking forward yep. to the next time we connect, davidgallison.com. Yep. Talk soon. Bye-bye. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcast on the go, and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. 
We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's going to be okay.